everyone and welcome to my Christmas vlog. My name is Tish and if you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you and if you're coming back, well, a girl appreciates you. Yes, you. So I'm not going to say everything I'm going to be doing in this Christmas vlog just at the start, but um, it will mostly be about what I'm going to be prepping, what I'm going to eat for dinner, as well as just who I'm going to be with. There might be two parts to this video, but we'll see how it goes. Also, um, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you share with your friends and I hope you comment below what you guys did. This video might be out on the 28th, hopefully I'll have time to like at least edit the video and actually share it. Also, I'm not a professional cook, I just like cooking, if that makes sense, yeah. So maybe my tips might not be that major but yeah, I'm just enjoying myself. So, so yeah, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. Toodles! Toodles! So going straight into the video, I'm going to be making lamb ribs. So as you can see, I'm just pouring the lemon. Um, I usually pre-wash my meat even before I put it in the freezer or the fridge. So I had already taken off the oil and everything or just cut it off because it, it had like a lot of oil. If you know lamb ribs, you know how much oil they have. So then I gave it a wash afterwards. So the first thing I used was olive oil. The best is to use olive oil. You can buy any olive oil actually. And then black pepper should use like one spoon. The chili powder, which was also one spoon. And then I used another lamb seasoning, which was two spoons uh, because this one has flakes on like the other one. And then I went on to Aroma, typical Kenyan. Yes, yeah, so I put one tablespoon liquid seasoning, one tablespoon ideally. And then you just mix it all together to just blend it. And then I cut up the ginger. Um, so you put that in, which is also really good when you any meat, blend it. Because ginger, you need to make sure. Then I put in garlic, mix it. And then I did have to add a bit of olive oil because it was a bit sticky. So after putting seasoning in, I later still added on lemon just just for sauce to be honest. It's just it's it's good. So after I finished evenly spreading the seasoning, I used clean film in order for me to put it aside and I let it settle for like two to three hours as I prepared everything else. So moving on to the chicken, used lemon again. I had already washed the chicken, but I still did wash it again. And then I used tamarind sauce, which is really good. Um, so this one you can put any amount to be honest. So then I went on to the liquid seasoning. Uh, this ideally is one spoon as well. And then I went on to the pepper, ideally one spoon as well, or less because it wasn't a lot of chicken wings. It was just like four of them. So I did put a bit back. And then I went on to the aromat. So I just, just spread that evenly. And then I used the chili powder, a quarter of a spoon. And then I used the chicken seasoning, um, one tablespoon. And then I moved on to the oil again so I can actually, so the seasoning can actually even in uh, with the chicken. And then I put the ginger as usual, spread it out. And then I put garlic and then I put that in as well. Uh, just make sure they're like fully cut down at least in small pieces. And then I now evenly spread out the seasoning and everything and because there was only four of them so I didn't put too much of any of the seasoning and then I covered them with clean film and they were left to settle for at least two hours. So now this was me spraying the pan. It's good to spray the pan so I was using sunflower and this is to avoid the meat being stuck on the pan so this was literally after three hours and i evenly put down uh, the lamb ribs and 
and then after that what i did was i also sprayed the meat just just a bit because obviously it already had its own but i didn't want it to like stick on the pan so after that you just foil it up and then you just put it in the oven would be preheated as you can see now this was the first time i took it out to turn it Moving on to roasting the potatoes, so here I've already peeled the potatoes and I was just soaking them, they were already soaked in water so I just needed to now fully wash them and then chop them in small pieces in order for me to now boil them. So after they were boiled I then went on to seasoning them, so pepper, um, and then I did use just a bit of salt because um, sometimes you just need just a bit more. And then I went on to spray the pan and then I literally just poured the potatoes on the pan and then put them in the preheated oven for roughly 20 minutes. Um, but you also need to keep on checking on the the fried chicken so this was my very first time doing this and i had to beat up the egg i used two eggs once i did that for the flour you use plain flour i added chili powder and mixed it up first attempt was you put the chicken into the egg fully make sure like it's covered with the egg so once you put it on the flour it now just sinks in so you need to use two of your different hands so one for the egg and one for the flour so you don't like mix up the whole process because then that will mean it won't fry properly so you have to do that. Put the oil in for probably a minute or two the the chicken to at least cook before i put it or before it like fully became heated as you can see you just fully need to turn it around um every two like two to three seconds so this one you have to really pay attention to it because it gets like fully cooked very quickly as you can see now it was like crispy and stuff so this got me excited like this was my first attempt and this is how it turned out so i was i was really excited about this one i will be doing this again because the best tip is if you can cook the chicken before you do this process it's actually the best thing so it can fully like cook inside so yeah best advice So the other part, the other part was the rice. I should have used one and a half cups. I don't know why I used two. God knows why I used two. I'm the worst at making rice, I'm not gonna lie. Should be the simplest thing, but I don't know. Like, it's just the worst thing with me. I have, I still don't understand why. Sometimes it will come out very perfectly and sometimes it will just come out shambolic. So here you need to fully make sure you're washing the rice properly. You also need to evenly wash the rice, like one, like as much as you can, even even the single ounces just make sure you fully wash the rice properly so washing the rice i would let it settle for 30 minutes so when you're actually cooking the rice it just makes it very simple for you to cook the rice in less minutes but for me this rice just turned out shambolic as usual because i cooked too much rice it was still eatable let's just keep it at that I did some frying with it so this part won't be in the video because i had issues when actually editing this video yeah my laptop was moving a bit funny so you won't see the part where where I actually do the fried vegetables and also egg so hopefully I'll be able to share that some other time when I probably do another cooking. I use coconut milk, I put it in a jug and then which is really good. I started using coconut like let's just say two years ago because I started really liking it so you just leave the rice for I guess roughly I believe rice doesn't have a time to be honest because sometimes you may put enough water sometimes you may not so you always have to keep on checking on it. 
I had never made parsnips before, so this was my very first time. I didn't know how to like actually go buy them all and actually cut them and then season them. So I just decided to buy them from m and And it was, they were really actually, they were really nice. I actually enjoyed making these at home. So in this case, you just spray the tray and then spread them out evenly and you just put them in the oven. So at this point, my oven was warm, so it was okay to just to pop them in. These need to be cooked for exactly 30 minutes. They need to at least up to 30 minutes. I had also never bought Yorkshire pudding before, so this is my very first time making it at home. So as usual, on the tray and then just put them in. So these just go in for three minutes because you don't want them to start being like crisp. So this was my salad prep. My salad prep was cucumber, so I used like a quarter or a not a half i used like a quarter of cucumber and then i used orange pepper and then i used red pepper so this was just the two because i didn't have a yellow pepper so ideally you can use any color of the pepper that you want and then i went on to use lettuce um i washed this individually because i'm that cautious about how my salad is and yeah so I have to make sure my salad is well prepped, well washed. And then I used salad cream. So the salad cream was from Tesco. It's a really nice salad cream. You can use any salad cream that you want of your choice. Just make sure you and just fully stir it and don't put too much. Because I think there's a point I did put a bit too much. But yeah, so you just ideally need like three spoons depending on how much salad you've made. But yeah, so that was my salad prep and that was the end of my cooking or the end of my Christmas prep. for watching the whole process and thank you for being a part of the Calm Blossom with me gang and I hope I gave a few tips here and there and I hope you enjoyed the video so see you guys soon in my next part two hopefully I'll be able to release that this week as well. Bye!